Hello, in this video I will talk about color variability and how to reduce it in 3D LUT Creator. The color variability is a range of different shades of the same color that can be found in some area of the image. This photo is all blue, but there are different shades here. The clouds are more yellow, the blue color in the sky contains magenta, and the blue in the sea has cyan. In the bright areas of the sky, the hue becomes greener. Depending on the image, the color variability can make it either better or worse. But no one shows how to measure variability or how to change it. So, I will show you what I thought up on this topic. First, how to measure color variability. On the CL grids, you can see the color distribution depending on the brightness. It can be seen that there are different shades of color at one brightness level. If I bring the mouse to the sky, I see that the cursor is moving along this path. Here the color contains magenta. If I move the mouse over the sea, the cursor moves along this path, which is closer to the green color. I can measure the color variability of this photo by looking at the width of the color distribution at a certain brightness. Also, the color hue changes along the brightness. In the dark areas, the blue color has magenta, and in the bright areas, it is more yellow. But I would not call it variability. Let's see how you can reduce the color variability in Photoshop. For example, you can fill the layer with the image color and apply it with the color blend mode. I got this image. It doesn't have color variability not only within the same brightness levels, but within the entire range of brightness. The image has the same hue and regardless of brightness. Let's see how the color path of this image looks on the CL grids. The color squeezed into a thin line. That is, I removed the variability. But the hue of the entire photo changed dramatically. How else can you reduce the variability? This can be done using Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer in Colorize Mode. You can try to find the best settings, but the result will be too different from the original. How else can this be done? You can use Gradient Map. You need to pick the colors from the image to get a similar color distribution by brightness. The brightness will also have to be set manually. I leave it like this. Let's look at the color path in the 3D LUT Creator. The color variability is eliminated. The color gradient is closer to the original image. The shadows are magenta and the highlights are more green. It is very difficult to remove the variability and leave the basic color of the photo unchanged. You have to manually adjust the gradient, select the brightness, and so on. Now, I will show you another way to reduce variability. I will do it in 3D LUT Creator. This is the original image. To begin with, I will discolor it. Now, let's look at what Gradient Map is. The Gradient Map applies a color gradient to the gray scale version of an image. The same can be done with the help of curves. There is a video on the channel about making gradient maps in 3D LUT Creator. For example, if I want to add the blue color, I raise the blue curve. If I want to reduce redness, I lower the red curve. So, I made the analog of the gradient map. I discolored the picture and painted it with the curves. You can add different colors to the shadows and highlights. For example, I add magenta to the shadows and cyan to the highlights. You can also make any color and it is not necessary to keep the original brightness. 3D LUT Creator allows you to build such curves automatically. In this photo, there is almost no information in the red channel. Most part of the image is black. So I will take another picture as an example. Here is the green grass. If you select the degrade method based on one of the three color channels, red, green, or blue, the curves will be built automatically so as to make a black and white version of the picture. You can see it on vector scope. The colors of the image are shifted to neutral. The middle tones on the image become gray. The green color channel that I chose will not change. So now I have the curves that make a gray version of the color image. If I invert these curves, I get curves that make a colored image from a gray image. Since I took the green channel as a basis, I move the red and blue points in the channel mixer to the green one. 
That is, the information from the green channel is recorded to the red and blue channels. I got a gray picture based on the green channel. That is, the channel mixer makes a black and white image, and the inverted curves return the color to it. Thus, I get the image colored very close to the original image. This is how the original color of the image looks on the vector scope. That's how the color distribution of the edited image looks. Notice that the main color of the image does not change. Let's return to the sky photo. I choose the channel that has the most information. In this case, the green channel is best suited because in the red channel there are no shadows, and the blue channel has clipped highlights. I choose the green channel in the degrade method. I click degrade and invert the curves. I remind you that these curves make colored images from the black and white. I turn them off for now. Now I will make a black and white image based on the green channel and turn on the curves. Here is the initial color distribution on the vector scope. That's what happened. The color path turned into a thin line. That is, the color variability became zero. However, the color of the image remained as close to the original as possible. Here is the before. There is the after. Let's try to use this method for copying the color grading. I think many of you have seen the lesson of Juan Malara about making such color grading. He gives an example of the gradient map, which is used to color the grayscale image. You can see that a lot of colors are used here, and it requires fine-tuning. I will take the edited photo. Also, you can take a screenshot from a movie you like. I will load it into 3D LUT Creator. Now, I will do all the same. Most of the information is again in the green channel. I choose green and press degrade. Then I invert the curves. I don't have the original image, so I will use a small picture from the website instead. I enable the split compare mode. This is what I got in 3D LUT Creator. And this is the one made by Juan Malara. As you can see, I got the same result much faster and without fine tuning. If the original image is colored and you need to get such a grading, you can simply reduce its saturation. In this video, you learned about the color variability and how to reduce it in 3D LUT Creator. Also, I showed how to automatically build a gradient map for specific color. In the next lesson, I will show you how to use new skills in practice. I will consider how to reduce the color variability of the skin tone. Goodbye!